one power to the bus here. Man, I was about to be sick. <laughs> I had took him out the packaging, and this thing was missing. And oh my god, trying to even attempt to find a second one of these is oh. And by the way, this is his card. Is out of the question at this point. Uh, there's no ace. Hey, there is an ace on there. It's a letter A, but I don't know if that's like for the card or you know a factory thing. If you guys can see it, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll take my word for it, but there's a letter A on there. But, and I think it's just a part number A. It's not like an actual plan card design. But yeah, this guy, uh, this part, I thought I lost it. It fell on the carpet, and man, I was looking for that thing for like ever. Oh, and here's Jubilee. She was sunk down in the <laughs> packaging. That's from a, a video I made earlier. Also, let me get this out the way because I forgot to do this during the Jubilee one. Here's the barcode. So you guys can scan it and look for it. Don't say I didn't help you out with anything. <laughs> so, And this is Gambit's. Um, again, everybody reviewed these like a billion times over. This is just my uh, personal opinion about the figures. So yeah, let's get to it. Uh, Gambit don't come with a... Uh, Caliban piece, I believe his name is the builder figure piece. So, yeah, he's just himself. I wish he had like a, a deck of cards that wasn't energized or whatever. And again, they had all these guys. Don't care, don't care, uh, don't care. But I like the outfit. Don't care. Only cared about those and Jubilee. Uh, he also come with this throwing effect, which is okay. Um, works pretty good. I wish it was a little bit more transparent, as in like the swoosh, like it goes from light to dark, maybe or vice versa. Um, but otherwise, it it's okay. I I didn't do anything with the figure yet. I literally just opened it and posed it like this and. Check this out. Like, he need a cigarette. Like, he's a heavy smoker. Like, like, hey, you got a Lucy? You smoke? You smoke? <sighs> um, at first, I didn't think I was going to like the hair because uh, it's not going up as much as I would like. But, and it looked like Slim Jim <laughs> from certain angles. But it's okay. It It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I wish it just went forward some you know like came outward and some was up you know and this is the same jacket that came with nick fury and uh multiple man and everyone else uh they could have at least got rid of the lines that's alert it seemed like that should have been something like easy to do i mean i'm no toy maker or customizer or anything yet <laughs> but it seemed like something they could have done like remove these lines and made it into the straight trench coat jacket gambit. But yeah, the arms, as you can see, goes all the way down. Cause I hear the arms only go up to like right here on the other coat model figures. But yeah, this one actually goes down more. They done something there to change that. Uh, this is far as I get this one to go. It could probably go farther. I don't know, but yeah, I don't want to risk breaking it or something, but it looked like it could go a little farther. It kind of feel like it, but it pops back forward. Got the normal attire on. And again, the reason why I like this version of X-Men, even though, yeah, I did watch the show. I love the theme song. Marvel vs. Capcom is the main reason. This is the Marvel vs. Capcom. Now, all we need to do is get some Street Fighter figures that's of this caliber. Uh, I know there's the SH figure arts. I'm a poor man. So, <laughs> my budget uh, reached certain levels. So, yeah, that's out of the question. And he also comes with this staff. The metal uh, staff from the game and the cartoon and everything. So, yeah. Uh, I don't have my old Gambit with the soft goods cloth uh, anymore. The toy, toy Biz one, I believe. Yeah, Toy Biz. I don't have that one anymore. I sold all my Toy Biz, all the Beast, everyone. Got sold, um, 
back in 2010 or 11. I want to say 2011. So, yeah, those are going uh, and starting new. So, yeah, and under the coat, you can't switch his arms out because there's no other arms to switch out anyways. Um, and I believe the jacket can come off. Pretty sure it can, but I won't take it off. And yeah, there's Gavin doesn't really seem like uh, someone you need to pose around too, too much. But the possibility is there. And here's his look like quite large feet to me here. So let's see. Uh, double jointed knees, uh, hinge. <laughs> and I'm not going in any kind of order. I'm going to just throw you guys into it. No segues. So yeah, uh, the standard. Uh, swivel hinge, uh, swivel at the calves, uh, thigh cut, legs go out, up and down, uh, uh, torso swivel, uh, ab crunch, uh, standard arms up and down, uh, single joint, I might add. For whatever reason, this actually reminds me of the uh, Dragon Ball GT figures right here. This articulation i don't know why it reminds me of their knees on the uh pants uh the up and down hands and this one has the roll of dice hand so this is why you get the staff behind his back pretty darn good so yep and the coat doesn't hinder it whatsoever so yeah, let's see. This is far out as I could get his leg to go, which isn't bad. But let me see. Yeah, this is pretty good. And sorry about this angle that I got you guys at. <laughs> I'm doing a bird's eye view type deal. So yeah, um, check it out. This is pretty good. Pretty sweet pose. Uh. As a rating for these figures, which I really don't do ratings, but I will honestly give these guys, this guy would be mm, 9.75. Why? Because I don't really want to say a 10 because there's slight things that removes it from a 10. And Jubilee would be a pretty much a 7, well not 7, uh, 9.75 also. Uh, why? Because she didn't have the extra head where the glasses could go up and down. That literally should have been just a hinge where you could just lift up and down. So yeah, these guys are perfect except those two. My figures have no paint flaws. Um, wait, before I say that, let me look. Just this, uh, little mold defect. But otherwise... I think I got the perfect figures out the bunch. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys picked them up. What do you think about them? Which version of Marvel Legends do you guys collect? And, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm going to do an update video where because I don't have the other figures out with me right now. But yeah, I wish I could get her to just sit like this, but she won't be able to right now. I could just get her to lean like that. <laughs> but yeah, I have to do an update video where I, I put all the X-Men wave together, the Rogue and everyone else. And show you guys what it all look like together so far. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Power Total Buster out. As Goku say, well, see ya.